How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right, as you can see from the title guys, I'm going to be reading out another letter from a gay serial killer Stephen Port. At the time that I was corresponding with him and stuff, uh, back in 2015, he'd just been remanded for the murders of four gay men that came into contact with him that he met via Grinder. Hence the name he was called, he was termed the Grinder Killer. Grinder being a gay dating app and stuff, but pretty much used for, for gay men to hook up and have sex. Um, I've wrote, you've seen it where I've wrote to Brady, Philpot, things like that, guys. Philpot's not actually classed as a murderer in Raid. Um, but he, but Port is, and so is Brady um, until the time of his death. Right, guys, so the letter reads Dear Cody, sorry for my rush letters at the weekend. I just wanted to let you know I've received your letters and didn't want you to think I returned the items. I still don't know if they will let me have the Star Wars annual. Right. When you write to these people, guys, yeah, they want you want information from them. They want money, goods and services from you. So Brady wanted Schaefer pen refills, blue medium. I sent Brady DVDs. He want closed triangle envelopes, which uh, I had to search high and low to find. Uh, Maraid Philpot, even though she's not actually classed as a serial killer, she wanted flowers. Um, sent him, I sent her money and she wanted a lady shaver, all this stuff and everything. With Port... In the first letter, guys, we can see a few vlogs down. He asked me for money straight out. I sent him 25 quid. Right, then he wanted it. Then in this letter, he asked for 10 pounds. See, this is the thing. You want information for them. They want to manipulate you to get what they can get out of you. So, obviously, you write to them with a law of money. They write back asking you for money and stuff. So, it's just, it's like supply and demand, guys. It really is. Right, so let's continue. So, I sent him the Star Wars annual anyway. But fingers crossed they will let me. I know I can receive magazines if sent direct from WH Smiths, but not certain about other items from supplier. I was told you can call the prison to find out the numbers at the top of the page. Not sure if they would allow me to have a watch or a radio. I feel bad asking for cash, but if you could please post £10, I can buy a pen, biscuits, order a magazine as the hunger and boredom is getting me down. I will ask my dad to post the money back to you as soon as the bank will allow him access to my account. I had to ask the governor to write to my bank to give my dad full permission to access my bank account. He will have to cancel my direct debits like phone, internet. That will probably take a few weeks. How was your weekend? What did you do? I hope I will be able to do lessons or work soon so I can at least have some money on my canteen and get off the wing as I'm feeling really, really depressed at the moment. Just so glad I have you to write to, and I look forward to your reply. I have a good legal team, and my QC is one of the best in the country. He's amazing, and he's confident he can prove my innocence. I have told my parents not to speak to the press after all the lies before they twisted everything to make it look certain I did it, when there's only evidence linking me to two of them. That is fucking, he's incriminating himself there. There's only evidence linking me to two of them, right? Crazy, which I mentioned before, but I would never harm anyone. I would sooner kill myself than take another's life. I have been watching Big Bang Theory and glad there's new episodes on Thursday nights has seen all the repeats over and over. I don't follow my soaps, but I've started to watch Neighbours and Home and Away here. I also watch Stargate and Star Trek when it's on. Can't wait for the new Top Gear when Chris Evans takes over, but it won't be the same without Clarkson. But I love supercars, so I'll be happy if I can get to see some like the new Aston Martin DB10 that's in the new Bond movie. Wish I could see that. Hopefully I will be out of here when the DVD comes out. So much more I want to write, but I have to give this pen back to the insider as dinner time is now. And get locked up after. We'll post this on the way. All the best. Stephen Port. Now, guys, right? Like I say, I've got, I, I've genuinely got a knack for, 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 for getting inside these people and earning these people's trust and stuff. Does that sound like a man that is fretting and scared, uh, potentially sending the whole, uh, the rest of his life in prison? It's going on about Star Trek, Star Wars, Big Bang Theory. He, he's, he's, he's sad that he won't be able to see the new James Bond film. And the thing is, guys, as well, like I say, some of you... Might, and you know what the thing is? That letter... Hold on, I received the first one on the 5th of... 
November. So 12 days later, so not even two weeks later, after I'd sent him £25, right? I know some of you will say, why do you send him £25? Like I say, you've got to rub the, you've got to butter these people up, right? So not even 12 days after sending him £25, he, he wants another £10, right? And this is the thing. He 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 was obsessed with Jaffa cakes. Jaffa cakes, the gone in one, the the gone in one. So if you look down my timeline, guys, you'll see a few vlogs back. Uh, I posted the first ever letter that I received from Port, right? Um, and you can read it and stuff like that at your own leisure, and you can have a nosy. Um, and like I say, in the letter, straight away he wants money, he wants goods, he wants services. Um, it's absolutely crazy. Hold on, someone's fucking ringing me. While I'm doing my vlog, which pisses me right off because it knocks me all over where I'm my, my thought process. But yeah, does it ring true about a man that is looking down the barrel of a custodial sentence, right? When he's talking about he wants Jaffa cakes, he wants money for this, he wants money for that, he wants a magazine, he wants me to say I sent him a Star Wars annual, you know what I'm saying? Um it just doesn't ring true of someone that's looking down the barrel of a life sentence, right? Um, hey, oh, I've got the best QC in the country. That's what they all fucking say. Everyone thinks they've got the best barrister until they end up getting fucking found guilty and stuff. Uh, again, guys, the, the, the thingy with Port and stuff, very childlike. This was a 40 year old man, wore a toupee, was doing gay dating, gay escorting and stuff. Uh, says that he was a, an underwear model for Jasper Conran, for Debenhams. He did swimwear. He was a. Um, five-time British champion and stuff like that, Taekwondo and you know, just modelling guys. Have you seen, look, just Google fucking images of this guy. Fucking freak, man, absolute weird looking guy. But guys, again, um, I've got a knack of getting inside on the inside tracks with these people. Um, and like I said, I just wanted the information from the kid. I wanted to see what it was about. Um, you, you, you read the headlines and stuff, but the papers write shit. They, they write what they want, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a sheep, I don't follow what people say. So I wanted to find out myself from him, what's he about, what's the case. And he's very, very vulnerable, guys, because in his first letter, he spoke openly about his case. In his first letter, rule number one when you land in prison on remand, you don't discuss your fucking case with anybody, even your cellmate. Your cellmate, the paranoid mentality teaches you that your cellmate could be a grass. Your cell could be bugged. That's sort of where you, you, that's where you sort of at in that regard. But, um, yeah, and he, here he is. I'm right, I could be an, I, I could have been an undercover policeman. Obviously, I'm not, I despise the police. But I could have been an undercover policeman or from the Crown Prosecution Service trying to get the information. But that probably would have been classed as entrapment and might have been admissible in court. Um, yeah, man. So, guys, I'm going to leave it here. One of my shorter videos, this, guys, as usual. Uh, you have to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Um, let me know what you think about the contents of the letter, about me writing to him. Like I say, just because you write to someone doesn't mean you're supporting them. Yes, I sent him money because I was trying to get information. If I wouldn't have sent him money and he was requesting money, he could have caught contact. I wanted to keep that um, dialogue open and stuff. That's exactly what I did. I never went to see him. I never went to visit him and I never spoke to him on the phone. Um, but if I wrote to him again under the guise of somebody else, I'd, I, again, I'd be able to get the inside track with this guy. Um, as the longer he was in prison his letters became more closed off he wouldn't discuss certain things he wouldn't open up because he finally got that cons mentality he'd already served two months on remand for perverting the course of justice um, and then he got out and he was on tag for two months um, When he, because what happened the first body was dumped outside his block he ran inside um, he made a 999 call the police came to speak to him because the, the, the victim's phone linked it to, to Port and then they arrested him on suspicion of perverting the course of justice because it was obvious that because he lied and they didn't know him and then obviously it came to light that he did know him and stuff so he's not the, the sharpest knife in the drawer by any which way um, and like I said he ended up in Brixton prison on remand he was only there for 8 weeks got out, he spent 2 months on tag and then the police fucked up he went on to kill others and then bam he ended up inside and stuff uh, this all took place in Barking in London. Right, guys, uh, on that note, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll speak to you all soon. Cody out.